Hello everybody, it's Duck 91 here from Not A Gamer Gaming, and we are on day 14 of Joke Mod. And if you're confused, don't worry, so am I. <laughs> Joke Mod, aka Cursed Mod. So, my base fell down. Uh, the whole chicken, it, it fell down last night when I was trying to fix something. I accidentally pulled out one of the support blocks that was holding the floating aspect of the base up. So that was a good time. And then I kind of spent the entire first part of the day, as you can tell, it's 16 o'clock. Like, wow, the whole day is almost over. But yeah, I spent the first chunk of the day recording. And then my husband, Genosis, you know him. He was like, uh, babe, I don't know if you know this, but you have no audio. So we stream our recordings to Discord uh, when we have the chance for our patron benefits and he was watching and he was like, um, you have no audio right now. And I was like, great. Not only did my base fall down, but I lost the entire day of showing you guys how I was putting it together. At this point in the story, I had two options. I could have rage quit. I could have been like enough's enough. I can't do this. this. This game is cursed. Everything that can go wrong does go wrong in the joke mod. But, you know, I put my big girl panties on turn the recording back on and I was like you know what we're not gonna quit we are going to continue the joke mod continue being professionals and here we are I am currently repairing my base I did end up building one of the destroyed cement mixers so if any of you guys have watched the stream you can make a cement mixer if you find and pick up a destroyed one so you don't necessarily need the schematic which is pretty cool because it's fucking hard to find so I went on a stream, you guys can go back and rewatch it, and took on, sort of, almost died getting a few cement mixers at that POI with all the like half-built homes. So yeah, we almost died, we got the cement mixers. I did build one of them. I couldn't build all of them because they require a hundred forged iron and I just didn't have a ton of forged iron. So I built one. And we put it down. It's crafting cement. I mined for the rest of the night after the tragedy of losing my base. And here we are now. I'm fixing it up. I've decided to do just the horde base section for tonight because the horde is going to be here literally in hours. And what I want is mostly just to have the section where I know the horde is going to come finished. You know what I mean? Which it's, it's been tricky. So we had a bit of a guest horde show up. And they decided to start beating on the sides rather than coming under it to get me. And I'm thinking that's because I haven't filled in in here yet. If I can fill in in here, they might just come on down and try to get at me this way. I'm not 100% sure. That's how the floating base worked the last time I built it in the Wasteland Wander series. But we'll have to see if this works out. I have no idea. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade this as much as possible. Then we're going to run inside, grab all of our weapons and stuff, bring them to the horde base so that we don't have to go back inside at all and can get as much last minute building done as possible. Yeah, we got our first lovely thunder strike. Okay, I'm gonna run in. Let's get all of our weapons and ammo. Let's build a chest. We'll put it out on the horde base. I do also wanna say again that we are doing a double day recording. So it's gonna be day 14 and day 15. And this will be known as episode 14. So I'm gonna keep kind of the episodic titling the same way. Okay, here, let's, uh, let's grab all that. Do I have any repair kits? Because things are going to need to get repaired. I want my portable fidget spinners that I'm going to throw down. Um, obviously, we're not painting because the horde base isn't ready. Here are the other two cement mixers that I found. But, oh, yes, and I've also been cooking on here. Here we go. We got some nails. 
more forged iron, two cement mixers down. This one's not doing anything. No cobblestone in here. I don't have any repair kits, and I believe you need duct tape and forged iron for that. So let's make some duct tape super quick. Like, lickety split, super quick. And I have the forged iron on me, so we'll make the repair kits when we're out here. I'm also going to make a secure storage chest. We have something at the horde base to put things in while we take on the horde. Oh my god, I'm so stressed out. Oh, I should have taken a vitamin. I got 33 minutes left on my fatigue. Oh man, all right, I'm gonna do as much upgrading as I can get done, and we, we should build some kind of cage to deal with birds up there. But I don't know, we might have to just wang at this horde. Oh, we're probably going to die. It is definitely gonna be two hordes in the desert biome. Okay, so I've done pretty much as much upgrading as I can do. If you're wondering, yes, there is a giant hole in my horde base. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. I wanna put my fidgety spinners down. Yeah, there's a giant hole in my horde base uh, because, oh yeah, baby, look at them go. Um, because I want to be able to use my accelerator and Molotovs and stuff like that, and you can't shoot those through uh, the bars. And I know I could have put a hatch down, but come on, guys, this is me we're talking about. You all know full and well that if I put any type of hatch down and try to throw a Molotov through it, unfun things are going to happen. I'm putting away the tools that I don't need. I need medical stuff. I'm uh, do I put away my hammer? I don't know. Let's put Molotovs up on my bar. Wrench can go away. Grenade ammo I can get rid of because I don't have one. The hunting rifle I'm also not going to use because I have the assault rifle. That goes as well for the AK machine gun. Now I do have the water pistol. I have a handgun. Ooh. Or it's getting ready to come. I just got a weird error though. Hopefully that doesn't screw us up. And I have my accelerator and I also have where did you go this bad boy the golden rifle I would really like to not use that I know that dukes are cost less than ammo but I would rather I don't know I would rather use up as much of my oh okay whoa oh I am dripping water all right that's interesting Someone had mentioned that if you have the water gun, hold on, let me take it off my heart bar and see if that makes any difference. Oh, that's got to be like a weird glitch or something. Yeah, it's like dripping water everywhere. Let me put the water gun away and see if that makes any difference. Water gun away. Nope, we're still getting a little drippage. What happens if I use my gun? Is it going to keep dripping water all night? I mean, it shoots, but I'm yeah, I'm still dripping. All right, uh, pause. Okay, so logged back out and back in, and I seem to be dripping a little bit less, which is good. I just want to make sure everybody is loaded. These fire ammo, what are they called now? The fireball ammo is my favorite. The meteor ammo is a little risky because I think it does, like, a really big area of damage. So I'm going to try to stick to my fireball once they're all bunched up. Um, what else do I have? I have pipe bombs. Those would be handy. But yeah, we're otherwise, can I not? Oh, what are we doing here? Oh, okay. Pipe bombs. Here we go. Getting a little bit of glitches on the game, but I think that's to be expected. Oh God. All right. I am as ready as I'm ever going to be for Horde. I really wish I would have made kind of like a bird cage or something, but we're going to have to just take on any birds, any rage cocks, also, any like big Karens or skeletons that may or may not spawn in. I have no idea what the day 14 horde is going to bring me. And I don't know if I can like check my game stage. Oh, here we go. 54. Another thing I should look at is my available points. I've been kind of jacking up points into strength just so I could do it for building. But I kind of want to take another look at the Joker perks. No regrets. Medical armor. Rocking out. Yeah, I kind of want to, I don't know, throw a little bit more points into here. Maybe get our finger banging up or maxed out. So let's go put one point in joke mod just to get that up. I'm also going to throw another point into sexy Rex. Can I do that? No, I need one more point. That's where our next point will go then. All right, guys, wish me luck. This is it. Oh, God, here we go. Okay, we're going to use this one first. See how many bullets we can use up. All right, here they come. Hopefully this works. 
I would really love for them to come right underneath me. There we go. You can do this. Okay, they're not there. Oh, this is not working. They are banging on the sides. This is not good. Why aren't they? Oh, wait, you came in or you're gone through. All right, this isn't gonna work. We're gonna be have to be on the ball. I was really hoping they would be underneath us. Oh, damn it. I can't even get headshots. I'm gonna be getting feet shots. Oh, this is not good. Oh, this is not good. before they even get to the base. Is that smart? That's a good or bad idea. I'm just spawning in. I've been kind of trying to get them as they bunch up a little bit, but I'm definitely not able to get any headshots, which is gonna make me go through ammo a little bit faster than I intended here. You know, the dogs seem to be making it through fine, and so do the snakes. So I wonder if it's because they don't have enough room down there. To really crawl under the blocks because they have to crawl to get underneath. Oh shit, we're out of ammo. All right, let's magnum some of them. Oh, out of magnum ammo. Oh god, we are not doing good on the ammo department. It doesn't help that I have to use. I use a lot of ammo on a good horde day, let alone a horde day where I can't get at their heads very well. Oh, this is bananas. I don't feel as panicked though. I feel like we're doing good. Worst case, I can get my accelerator out. I do have finger banging ammo that could also work. I wish they were bottled up a bit more. Then I'd be able to use my accelerator more efficiently. I'm trying to stand right underneath the blades and hopefully they go right to them. Oh, this is not. Yeah, this is not working. I think we might actually have to turn our Ragecock base into more of a sniper base at the rate we're going because they are not listening. They're not doing what they're supposed to be doing. This is a failure base. I mean, I haven't died. So we should say that a base doesn't necessarily fail. What's that little annoying kid? It doesn't fail unless you die, and we haven't died. So it's pretty sturdy. It's holding up good. Will it hold up against a beefier horde with larger zombies, stronger zombies? I don't know. Like, I wouldn't hold my breath. Look at this chick in my farm. Rude. I really don't want to waste my good ammo on an annoying kid. I just want to shoot it with my finger gun because it takes so much ammo to kill them and finger gun ammo is relatively cheap. Wow, uh, the zombie, I don't know, It's uh, this isn't too bad. I'm not that worried. I feel like I'm about to jinx myself by saying that, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not too stressed. Oh God, oh God, yeah, that's what I thought. Got a first rage cock in the face. Anybody else want to fuck with me today? No more cocks in the sky. Look at this bitch in my farm again. Another lady. I don't know what she thinks she's doing. Ooh, okay, we're still holding up fine. You want to be careful about these little kids, too. Only for the fact that apparently they do kind of a lot of block damage. You know, like a kid, they, you know, destroy your shit and they never go away. But yeah, they do quite a bit of block damage. So you want to be mindful of that if they're attacking your base and you're ignoring them because they don't hurt you very much. They can hurt your base a whole lot. Oh god, they just keep coming! All right, let's try the meteor ammo. I feel like it does, it sets them all on fire. Like, I feel like even if I shoot it off like here, does it set everybody on fire? No, maybe I'm wrong. I'm hesitant to do it down here, like, oh yeah, yeah, bad idea. Super duper bad idea. I'm just gonna bandage up now. I left all my medical supplies at home. Hopefully this base holds. lost a fidget spinner no I love those things we were missing one it's broken I have three down there I think I'm curious to see the damage these guys are doing to this base
Oh god, we are out of ammo, so we're on to shooting off some dukes. Oh, this is depressing. All my money gone to shame. Again, I know dukes are cheaper than bullets, but man, I, uh, I don't know. There's something weird about shooting money at zombies that makes my heart hurt a little bit. Man, this is a slow rolling horde night. I don't feel too afraid, but it's been taking its time. I shouldn't complain. I feel like maybe I'm a little bit spoiled with the Darkness Falls Horde night that gets a little bananas. But yeah, we're doing good. We've lost one blade trap. Um, the base still seems to be standing. Downside about a floating horde base, though, is it really doesn't take them breaking many blocks before this whole thing comes tumbling down. Oh no, we're down to one fidget spinner. This depresses me. I'll have to get more at the trader if he's selling them. All right, handy dandy repair kit. I finally used at least one. We did end up making five for the horde. Oh, I'm thirsty. Take a little sucker. A little coffee break. Just excuse me, zombies. I'm just taking a little bit of a coffee sucker rooney. Man, I'm disappointed we didn't get any boning zombies tonight. I was really looking forward to that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Rage cock in the face. Woohoo. I was just thinking, oh, it's almost horde night's almost over. And then we got a rage cock in the face. It's totally fine. We still got a little bit of meanie bobinis banging around, but I think we'll do good. I think we will survive this horde. All right, here we go. Good morning, world. I'm going to repair my baton, and we're going to jump on down onto the ground. Let's uh, deal with these people. Oh! All right. Um... Not really, uh, not really sure what killed me, but I'm feeling like it was a landmine. Unless it was like a zombie that you step on. Man, we were doing so good! Goddamn landmines. Maybe it was a banana mine. Oh, I didn't even know there was a banana mine there. Oh, man. All right, that's fine. Technically, we survived the horde. We just didn't survive me being not as smart as I should be. Let's loot our bags and see what's inside. Okay, so our portable fidget spinner is broken and you cannot pick them up unless they're repaired. I'm gonna go upstairs. I need to get out my ax and stuff. We're gonna put away our loot and then we'll gear up for day 15 because again, this is a lovely double day episode. So we're going to go actually all the way through day 15. I think we're going to spend the day questing just because I need a little bit of a, a break. Speaking of break, we've got a few more guests. Get out of my store. This is a little awkward. There's a goose in your store wrecked. It's not hygienic. Oh, I just burned that a-hole so bad. All right, so I unloaded some stuff I and I picked my garden and I realized I had a bunch of seeds in my inventory. Is there a possible chance of getting seeds when you pick a garden or did I just like idiotically accidentally? Oh, that's not a seed. Hold on. Maybe I'm crazy. No, this is a seed. I may have accidentally like picked up the seeds when I wasn't supposed to. So we'll see if there's enough space for this bad boy. No, there's no space for my potato seed. Maybe I did get an extra seed. Or maybe I looted it. I'm not 100% sure. All right, I'm going to unload the little bit of stuff I just picked up. Then let's head out and do our quest. I want to do some questing today. I want to progress a little bit. I just feel like we've been lagging in that department. It's been just like a very slow, slow grind. Um, let's not worry about the horde base. I would love to get a little bit of feedback from you guys before I do any more work on that damn base. Because I'm thinking, I'm thinking of instead of a floating horde base... We turn it into some kind of, I don't know, like a, a sniper base, something like that. That way, because I was having a bit of fun shooting them from a distance as they were like coming up on me. But otherwise, I'm going to wait. I want to read you guys' comments just to give me an idea. I know the reason why it didn't work. It's because they needed to crouch to get through here. And if they had been able to walk, I think it might have worked. But I don't even think there is a block design that lets that happen. I'm going to fucking kill this goat. What a beastie goat! I want to be killing a lot of these joke mod creatures because I love Gary. But damn, I need a new ride. I need something faster. 
10 seconds without a cock in my face. Is that really too much to ask, guys? 10 whole seconds. That's all I want. A little bit of a break from the rage cocks of the desert. That's all I'm saying. Get to bed. I know they're attracted to me because I guess they have the same AI as the danger chickens or the vultures, the dead vultures. And any second you get on your... Oh, God. Yeah. Bike of any kind. Lose HP. They're all up in your business. That's fine. Apparently you can use meat. Like just regular raw meat. You can make uh, forged gore with that. So that's not too bad. Okay. Collision center. I feel like it's been a while since I've done you. What do we have in here? Some Rex nuts. Lucky ducks. Ragers. What does a rager do? Oh, I want to read that description. Gives you a strong swing, but you're weak in the knees. Okay. I'm not really sure if this is the environment to test out a rager or not, but I am definitely curious. That's a doggy. I'm going to finger bang. Super quick. Super, super quick. Beautiful. Oh, we got two. Oh, shit. He had a friend. Okay, we're fine. Nobody stress. Ah, oh, damn it. We are attracting everything from the outside world here. Okay, so I don't believe I've done the collision center before. I just took a second and looted pretty much everything around it. I've got to clear the area. Oh, somebody wants to get out. Ah, here we go. I've got to clear the area and find my White River supplies. So I am looking forward to kind of checking out... A new POI, banging some bitches, just having a nice, relaxing time with looting because I really enjoy looting. Oh, there we go. I just looted that thing of food and that fell down. And presto bammo. We've got my White River supplies. So now we just have to kill all the mini bobinis. And I'm kind of hearing them slightly, but it hasn't been too overwhelming yet. I'm going to try to close doors behind me. Because, yeah, see that? We're attracting the outside world. Very well. Nicely done. All closed up. That's a fancy refrigerator. That looks like our refrigerator with its, like, ice dispenser. Love it. All right, let's keep making our way through the collision center here. Okay, we are in the garage section. I have no doubt in my mind it's going to get, yeah, slightly stupid. A little attendant day in here. Anybody else in the bathroom? Oh, Tom! Scared the shit out of me. All right, that wasn't too bad. Yeah, I feel like it's going to get a bit stupid there in the other room. So let's, let's go in one inch at a time. Because that's, you know, if you're going to go in... Take it slow, just one inch at a time. Ooh, fancy wooden bow, level four. I haven't been using a lot of arrows, but I, it's kind of super neat. Man, I really love how they've upped their POI game in Alpha 20. These look great. I used to have such like a depression about the POIs. They were so just kind of meh, but these ones look awesome. Like I don't think I could build POIs as good. And that's saying something because I used to like to make the POIs just to make them a bit more... I don't know, interesting, immersive, but these, the ones that they have for Alpha 20, I really think they took just a little bit of extra time to make them super juicy. Oh shit. Hello, janitor. Just come on up. I'm going to smack you in the head. Beautiful. This looks like it's going to be a bit of a maze. Oh shit. You just go back up the ladder. Wow, Daffy. Wow. <laughs> Okay, through the creepy door onto the roof. This is where shit's gonna go. Super bananas! I'm already waiting for it. Ooh, what was that? A shotgun tube extender. <laughs> Dirty. I like to extend my tube, if you know what I mean. Oh, spoopy, you whore! No, spoopy! Not today, sir! Oh, and we got another chicken. Alright, this is fine. I can handle these boys. Beautifully done. Oh, okay, so what is this? This is a tier two. Uh, I'm going to actually sell the plastic. I kind of forgot you can sell them and just like repair them. And they give you a little bit of money. Always eat water. Figured out this hack how to purify water. Fancy this rad remover. I think I have one. No, I don't. 
Oh, very nice. And this impact bracing mod. Uh, the hunter mod to all animals. That used to be players and animals, and that always excited me when I was playing PvP with Jen. But I'll take it. Whatever. Put that on. Uh, can I f modify my finger gun? Oh, yeah. There we go. Now I can really finger people in an effective manner. I guess people and animals. And can I... No, I can't put that on my feet. God, I need better armor. It's just... It's a shame. Ooh, we got some Rizko dance monkeys. Gonna save those for Horde. I love those damn things. They're just funny. You just gotta love them. Seeing the zombies dance around. I wish they had a bit more of different dance moves. I think that'd be a little bit more fun. I'll sell that hunting rifle. I'm not that interested. And some canned meat stew. All right, guys, that's it for this quest. I did not bring my wrench with me. Otherwise, I would try to wrench some of the vehicles down there. But I left it at home. Not the end of the world. Let's jump on Gary. Head back to Wrecked and see if we can get our, you know, get him to like us just a little bit more. Because I want to start getting, I don't know, harder POIs. I'd love tier three, something like that. I'm really not liking how when it comes to the traders, you have to almost reset which each one of them. I d I'm just not a big fan of that. I feel like it just makes the game drag on a bit. Especially if you want to do a game kind of like Joke Mod, where you're traveling around a little bit. It just makes it a little frustrating. Oh God! Jesus Christ, that cat jumps. Woo, that was the weirdest sound. Hello, pussy. All right, you're a domesticated cat, and you can jump very, very far. I'm going to have to put you into your misery. Despite my desire to be a crazy cat lady, you've got to go. Beautiful. Oh, that's that's a little awkward. Woo, you scared the crap out of me, buddy. Okay, let's return our quest to Wrecked, and he is going to be kiss it better. Apply these to stimulate a kiss from mommy on your boo-boo. Oh, I love that one. Or the bat. I'm going to grab the bat because I already have a lot of bandages. And I'm just going to sell it back to him like a goddamn champion. I spent a lot of my coin yesterday shooting zombies. Don't let so. the door hit you on your way Do out. you have a job, sir? Something close by. Let's Listen bang up, these Jack ones ass. out. You won't work. What are you the body shop. I haven't for? done that one already, Don't did I? Yes, I literally you. just did that one. All right, give me a second, guys. I'm going to find a decent quest to do with this guy. Okay, we're heading over to the grocery store. Uh, that's another tier two. I haven't done it before, so that one should be interesting. Oh, my base just depresses me. Ah, shit, I went the wrong way. Now I gotta go all the way around. Okay, you little chicken. Get out of my face. Come on, buddy, get down here. Don't be afraid. There we go. Beautiful. Whoa! Wonderful. Now, if I just expect them every time I get off my bike, it shouldn't be too bad. We are at the grocery store. Uh, I, I might have done this one in the past. I said I didn't. I need to pick all this chrysanthemum. I want to make paint. What was that noise? Did you hear that? Was that me hitting this? I don't know what that noise was. I want to make paint and I need chrysanthemum to do that. Um, yeah, I'm a little nervous. Yeah, I need chrysanthemum to get that done. So I should try to gather as much of it as possible when I can. Before we go in, let's deal with whatever could be inside here. Ah, we're good. I'm going to go around the POI. I like to kind of clear the outside before I even bother going in. So let's get that done first. I'm using the big head candy for funsies. That guy's running at me. Oh, wow. Feral. Get down, Tommy. You got one large noggin. Oh, God. This is great. Look at them. <laughs> I love that thing. Oh, that never gets old. All right, I gotta go deflate some large heads here. Look at the large head cop. Oh my god, that's terrifying. Terrifying and beautiful all at the same time. Oh, baby. I like to see all your boils up close. Oh, it's gone now. Now the zombies look so much more sad. I had a lot of them come in at me from inside here, so it's doing half the quest for me. Which isn't, I'm not going to complain. Let's keep looting. I haven't gone around the entire building yet, but, you know, I've got a process and I've got to stick to it. And my stamina has really been hurting. The ghastly stink. 
Left unclean, it could lead to horrendous stink, which can cause unknown side effects. Use uh, soap as soon as possible. Getting hit by zombies or animals will make you stink worse. That is why it's regener. My stamina regeneration is down by 25%. Ah, uh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So I feel like my stamina has been an issue um, the last little while. Now, I could obviously just clean up my stink, but I'm, I'm trying to be committed to seeing how far I can let the stink go unchecked. And see what happens at the end. So I haven't been the greatest with that commitment because I keep going into God mode to take thumbnails. But I'm trying my best at this point to see it through. Rizco Regens heals you if you stand still. Do you hear something? Uh, interesting. I definitely want to try that. But I think I want to take this Lucky Duck. I have enough of them. I might as well just... They last for five minutes. They increase my looting ability. I don't know if that applies to everything or just like the end loop but i have a ton of them so i'm just going to use them as i get them but yeah the healing thing i wonder if that would be handy on like a horde night you know what i mean then you can just stand still quickly and heal yourself this being said now that i think about it if you're getting that hurt on a horde night that you need to be healing yourself you're most likely running for your life at that point roof time guys nothing good ever happens on the roof i'm gonna eat my last boiled meat uh oh there's my stash nice okay we just have to figure out what nasty asses are here waiting to get us whoa 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 i knew that would be too easy i'm here banging away and i didn't see a single zombie and i was thinking man there's got to be somebody up here you scared the crap out of me you big hooligan okay we've got half the quest done we're on the roof. I'm curious to see what's left of this POI. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, listen, I was just looking for an egg, buddy. Come the fuck down. You've got quite a million bird's nests over here. I'm sure you can share some eggs with me. Oh my god, there's so many bird's nests on this roof. It's like infested. Okay, next step. In the ceiling. Nothing bad can happen in ceilings, right? That never happens. Oh, I think I'm remembering this. Oh my goodness, look at all this stuff. Got a cock knocker, super slobbery. AK-47 that I'm probably just gonna scrap. I don't know what it gives you when you scrap it. I'll scrap the bow, sell that. That was pretty slobbery. I feel like stupid shit happens in here. If I remember correctly, there is, yeah, there we go. There's like a like refrigerated area there. And inside there's some nasty asses. Okay, so I'm thinking about Papa Riz's poo tea. It says it may cause dysentery and may make you a little dumb, but you'll find better loot. So dysentery, stamina, regen, water, duration, four minutes. I don't really understand how that works, but maybe we'll take it right before we loot our end loot and see if it makes a difference. I can't get dysentery because of my diaper <laughs> that I have on. That was weird to say out loud, but yeah, I have a diaper. So dysentery just ain't happening for me. I've just been looting this main area. We haven't gotten to that, like, back room freezer yet, but we'll get there in a second. Whoa, feral lady, feral. Woo! Feral politician. Get back to your pole, lady. Man, we're getting a bunch of random ferals coming at us. I'm probably going to have to put some serious thought in picking and committing to a weapon and keeping that on me. Because, yeah, the finger gun ain't no good when it comes to a feral. Okay, time to head into the bakery. I was just trying to get all the cobblestone and little hidden bags that were on top of the shelves. Uh, okay, this door was beaten down, but we know what's in there. All right, I'm going to go ahead and loot this little kitchen area and hopefully, I don't know, maybe they'll wake up. Maybe they'll help me beat down that door. Is it locked? Oh, it's not. Beautiful. All right, for funsies, I'm going to take a Brondo the Thirst Mutilator. It's basically a mega crush. I think it's gonna help a little bit with the stamina. I know it makes me run faster. Whoa! You just never know when you need a little bit of that. There's gotta be more in here. Is that it? I did all that for one goddamn zombie. Are you kidding me? Okay, I wanna take my poo tea super quick, see if it helps at all with my looting. I think it reduces my stamina, which is not stamina, but my like experience that I gain. It makes me not as smart. Pitchfork will sell, burning shaft mod, iron helmet. I think I'm doing light armor, so I'm just kind of a bit depressed by that. I'll probably sell it. Wasteland treasure adds a chance to harvest acid from cars. Alrighty, righty, that's not too bad. And here we've got a bit more ammo, and let's see what's in our shipping crates. We've got uh, charred meat. All right, let's see that's coffee. 
and miso soup and some fat. Beautiful. Man, it's 17 o'clock. We're making good time. We've done, what, two quests so far today? This town is pretty big. Look how congested it is right here. We've only really been on the outskirts of it. I am a little bit excited to be doing two hordes here just to give us an opportunity to explore all of the city that we're in because it seems pretty beefy. Okay, we're saying farewell to the city. Let's head back to Wrecked, return the quest. It's getting pretty late. Um, I don't know if we'll have enough time to do another quest. I might just spend the rest of the day mining for some stone because we need to do something about that horde base. That's going to be... Oh, I don't even know. That's going to be a chore. <sighs> I wonder how we're going to turn a huge rage cock into a sniper base. Oh, God. I hope I can figure this one out. Okay, wrecked, you sexy son of a bitch. What do you have for me? Iron sledgehammer or painkillers. I'll take the iron sledgehammer. I'm just going to sell it back to you. Do you have anything juicy? Oh, I can go back to the previous tier. Ugh, who would want to do that? Um, I guess I'll grab the elect- No, I think I've already did that one. You know what? I'm going to wait till tomorrow. Let him restock or redo his quest. Let's unload all of our juicy loot here. And then I kind of want to plant the seeds in my garden and then we're going to go do some mining. Okay, so I really want the Zelox rocket launch here accessory. He resets tomorrow. I only have, what, 10 grand? Is that all I have on me? Yeah, so let's, I don't know, let's sell some stuff. Maybe some mods I don't intend on using. Um, I don't know. I just want to sell some things. How much are these worth? God, they're not worth that much. Um, all right, let me grab some stuff. I'm going to sell. See if we can get ourselves... A little bit more cash so we can buy that lovely accessory. Even if we don't get it right away, I have seen in the past the chassis become available. And I'd love, like I said, I'd love something different to drive around in. All right, I'm going to buy the Zelox Rocket Lawn Chair. Beautiful. I had to sell a bunch of stuff. I sold some things I didn't really want to sell, but Shit, man. girls got to do what a girl's got to do. I need a new ride. And it they tell me... They do tell me that that lawn chair is a bit of a beast of a ride. So we're going to have to invest. Let me go ahead and put our frame blocks down. Oh, that base. Every time I look at it, it just makes me want to cry. I hear a cow. Oh, baby. Is that a Big Mac? I'm going to kill this guy. Come here, buddy. Ah, oh, damn it. I was hoping you'd give me a chassis. Some kind of cow thing I'm going to drive around on. You disappoint me. All right, guys, that's it for today's double day video. If you liked it, give it a big fat like, subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments below if you liked the double day video. Uh, if not, we can definitely switch back to one video or one day of video. But yeah, let me know in the comments. Hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll see you for our next two days.